Hey, hey everyone. My name is Sylvia Lopez Chavez. I'm an American artist based in Boston. And today I want to share with you a project um, that is about collages and um, perspective. For the project, we're going to be using um, a piece of paper. I also have included a template of a space of a room using one point perspective in art. That's what it's called when you have one single location moving forward. And you can use this template or you can create your own, um, which I'm going to show you how to do. We're also going to be using a pencil and scissors, glue, and a ruler that might be helpful to have, as well as some uh, magazines, like just different kinds of magazines that you can actually own stuff that you can put out, or um, actual images or papers that are colorful that you really like. We're going to first start drawing our room, and then from that we're going to start gluing together all of these images, which is what a collage is. It's basically creating a composition out of different kinds of photo-based images and pattern and color. And uh, that is usually a really nice way to imagine spaces and create um, a vision of what you uh, would love, a space you would love to be in all the time. So we're going to take a piece of paper and the first thing we want to do, and it's a little far away, but hopefully you get a chance to see. So we're going to use a ruler and we're going to create a square, like a rectangle parallel to the edge of the paper. So you want to create a rectangle that um, whatever size you like, it depends on what you want to do, but I'm going to create a rectangle that goes from here and then I'm going to also do a parallel line, um, meaning in line with the edge of the paper. And I'm going to draw another line here. And then I'm going to do the same vertically. So I'm going to create about the same width parallel to the paper and uh, same idea on the other side. We now have a rectangle on our piece of paper. And the next step is that we're going to take that rectangle and we're going to use the ruler to bring it to the corner of the paper. So you're going to match the corner of your rectangle with the corner of the paper. I'm going to just draw a line and I'm going to do that on each of the sides. For this particular case, I'm going to maybe draw a window. And to do that in perspective, you continue to use parallel lines. So I'm going to decide how big do I want the window. I'm going to do it from here to here. So um, I'm going to draw a vertical line there, just parallel again to the piece, piece of paper. And then I'm going to bring it all the way to this side. And then I'm going to connect those two lines, which these other lines will be parallel to the floor and the ceiling of that space. So now you have a window in perspective. So this line, this, these vertical lines are parallel to the paper and to the edge of your rectangle. And then these lines are parallel to the actual lines on top and bottom of the floor and the ceiling. Once we have a room, then we're going to browse through magazines and start really collecting. I had started cutting out some, some images and things that colors, um, images that remind me of things that I love, like the ocean and nature and patterns. I love color, so you can include words too. I, I found that word color. Um, I cut out, I had this like really cool pattern and I cut out a comfy chair. I love being able to have a comfy chair in my space. So I'll continue working on this piece and um, I'll show you what I can come up with. And here is my collage. I want to share with you um, some of the ideas. I love color, I love, I love pattern. So I put it words and shapes I love. I hope that this gives you um, some cool ideas to create a space so you can like, use your imagination and escape whenever you need to. Um, we've been inside a lot in this time and I think that having a, uh, using our imagination to escape the room and be able to imagine a new space where we always want to hang out with is really cool. I encourage you to share your story of, with others of why you included the images that you included and why are things that are important within this. Think of a story of what is happening in this room. What are the things you're doing? Um, can you uh, take it another step and imagine a story and, and create characters that live in this space? The imagination is endless and I let you to enjoy this. Thank you for joining me next time. Until then, bye.